Thank you very much everyone for agreeing to come to this sporting event. This whole session today is about building relationships. It's not about who's, who's going to win. That's not the objective. In here today, we have representatives of the regular police and representatives of the sex workers community. And that's why the teams that will be formed here will be mixed up. We are sex workers, we take the police as our enemy. They don't consider us as a human being. When we go at our workplace in the night, if they find you outside there, they will beat you, they will harass you, what are you doing here? And then sometimes they will have sex with you without protection. Before meeting Cash, he had very much challenges with policemen. I'm known as Amina Omaswale. I was married 15 years ago. I bore seven children. Unfortunately, two died. Then my husband passed away because of HIV and AIDS. I was desperate. I don't have money. I don't know where to start to. I have kids. They want to eat, they are crying, Mommy, we are hungry. That's how I got myself into sex work. I don't want my children to know what I'm doing. Because they will find that there's somewhere we can get money easily. I'm telling them I'm working at the hotel. Yeah. So what I do, I save small, I eat small, to make sure these children go to school. Kiritu tungeanza na introduction, kana bile mnajua mimi ni mama enyu, na mini health activist pia at the same time, Asa tuko hapa leo tu share challenges zetu ni wewe tuna face huko nje kama sex worker. Jana mimi nilikuwa kazi kawaida yangu. Nikapata mtu lakini aliniima baada ya kumfanyia service akaniima pesa. Nikarudi morning sina hata sabuni look at me. Kwa hivyo hiyo challenge nimepata kwa ground hiyo hiyo first day yangu mimi kupata challenge nime feel bad sana. Nimepata client tukaongea tu tukaenda kwa room. Alikuwa amenipatia pesa yangu kweli. Kwenda naye kwa Roma akanifanya kinyana nifanya. Akishamaliza akanishika akanipiga kaninyang'anya pesa. Nikampa service vizuri. Baada ya kutoka ananiambia tia hapo ana pesa tunde kwa counter hapa pale pinya alikuwa anakunywa. Kutoa chemchi yake imebakia. Sasa mimi nikarudi hapo asubuhi mtoto wangu mwenyewe ana kitu ya kule kabidi nianze kukopesha. Sio tu kama we ni sex worker una haki. Uko na haki kama binadamu yoyote. Uko na haki ya ku access hiyo justice. Hmm? Utapata unashikwa, client anawachiliwa, we polisi anaenda na wewe. Usingangane na ya pa injejili, kuingangana na ya naza kupiga ta kumizi. Eee. Enda tu pale station uandikishe make sure umeshika ile namba yake ama kama ko in civilian make sure umeshika hiyo sura yake nyie akianza kupigana na yeye ambie hata mkubwa yao hebu weka watu kwa parade hapa nita identify Unajua hiyo itawapatia pia uoga wajue kumbe kuna watu wako hapa nje wamewafundisha paka siku hizi mmejua right zenu Cash inatutetea kwa maneno kama hiyo Ya cash in full ni keeping a life society's hope wanatetea haki ya wanyonge 
hata sio malaya peke yake wanyonge in the community at keeping alive society's hope our work focuses on marginalized groups particularly female sex workers and men who have sex with men we address their health concerns particularly in relation to hiv but then for us to achieve better results we had to address the police side of the problem you could hear about incidents where a sex worker was arrested and the police officer would take this sex worker to, to, to his house and keep them there for a whole week. So they become uh, some, some kind of a slave. The commercial sex workers fear the police most. The attitude before was policemen could take money from them, extort money from them. Most policemen don't understand commercial sex workers are good rights like any other person. I'm very happy to be with you here this morning. We didn't know much about this program before, but we learned that it was advocating for the rights of the most at-risk population. We are here so that we can get to know more about the police and the sex workers. Naona tumelala sana, ibu tuamuke kidogo, tujichangamushe. Tuimbe kidogo. Aya, tuanze. Mungu wetu ni wajabu, mungu wetu ni wajabu, mungu wetu ni wajabu. The most important tactic is uh, to build the relationships between the police officers and the sex workers. So that means once they are friends, the violations will come down. The police officer's job is to enforce the law or, or their beliefs. That's what law is all about, to regulate on the morality, on the behavior, conduct of human persons. You have a moral duty to make sure that uh, the morality of society is upright. Is that a responsibility that you have? Yes. And, and the way you think about morality, is it the same as another officer? What you probably think is immoral, Somebody else might think is moral. Mi na fanya tui sex work dili wale watu wana nitege mea ni watano. Ule mwenye mejipeleka tu pale jili ya environment. Ana furahie. Na kuna mungine kana ye chini ataka mwume mshika. Ebu jaribu kuuliza huyo mtu. Mbonu unapenda kufanya ikazi. Akuambie. Sa zingine huyo mtu wako unashida ata unezatua pesa kwa mfuko yake mwumpe. Kipatoli kama kwaos. A new sex work who is venturing the business. Yeah. Let me come back on a policy. Let me come back on a human rights. Yeah. So what information do you give? Yeah, me? that's why I'm there as a health activist. Yes. Nta mfundisha, nta mwambia usijaribu kwenda na mtu bila mpira. Unajua kuna... When sex workers manage their HIV problems, then uh, the benefit has a much wider ramification for society. Mi naitu Amina, natoka cash, tumawaletea visiti hapa, na uo tunaleta every Friday, na ni bure. Sijuu kama mgependelea kujua lienyu, mbwanya lodi. Tungependelea? Kama mgependelea kujua, na mlijua lini muisho wa lienyu? I think three months ago. Nafanya kazi police and visiti, na mamba yote taka yojadiliana hapa, you will see that gun at least you will see her face the client went with her, they negotiated about condom use, he will not use condom. Then they start struggling. So, wakati mwalikuwa mna nangana, alikuumiza, alikuumiza semu yako nye? Alikuwa miingia, ndo nikamuma hapa, hii mkono wakuli.
you can't violate my right and then I just keep quiet. No, we know our right as sex workers. I will not keep quiet as before. Kama we mwenye unataka kuwacha utawacha. Lakini hiyo ni kesi nye, at least iko na nguvu. Sasa nafikiri huyu angejitarisha tu alafu tuende. Tuende siku ni nafikiri ni hakuna haja kuwesi. As a health activist, I can take this person to the hospital, I go to report to the police, then we file the case. Police station. This program became actually a crime prevention strategy. It also enabled policemen to net very notorious criminals because most of them like also abusing commercial sex workers. Sasa si tunaona amekuwa violated sheria na mkinga asi mtu asimpige tufuate the right procedure huyo mjamaa kama tu ikue fuzo kwa wengine. Yeah. Whenever a crime has been committed for us police officers we take it as a crime. Yeah. As a crime. Thank you. Niko tayari kuti kupigania maisha yangu. Niko tayari kupigania right yangu. Niko tayari kupigania maisha ya familia yangu. We have police officers who the negative attitudes towards sex workers and the gay population has completely changed and they view them as human beings and uh, they, they understand they understand them much better now before the police didn't understand sex workers but at now they must accept because we are their sisters their brothers we have to live in one community at least we are in good relation with them i know in god's name they will reform <laughs>